And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some Wizards 101. I, I can't believe how quickly I beat Sinamica, the first game, so quickly. I really hope the second game's not going to be as quick. Yeah. You got you to think about it. I did a lot of off-camera farming, so that, you know, it, it felt like one day, but it's more like three days just from farming, so I was just like, eh. Anyways, get back into playing some Wizards 101 here. i got to figure out what we're doing. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's get into it. Who oh, there, Outlander? Forgive me! My gladness at seeing you is outmatched by my dread of the curse upon Grizzleheim. Your presence humbles me. I am only the second greatest hero in Grizzleheim when you visit my world. Times are grim. Though you defeated them before, the evil members of the Coven have struck again. We fear that this is the final act of their terrible plan to curse the Spiral with the dreaded Everwinter. King Valgard Goldenblade has need of your spells. Enter his hall and speak with him if you are a true hero. I am pleased you heard my call. As Bjorn Ironclaws told you, the evil ravens of the Coven are trying to bring the Everwinter upon Grizzleheim. Once this dreadful cold comes, it will wreath our world in ice, and the freeze will spread throughout the spiral. Though the Coven met their defeat at your hands, they crept from their hidey holes and struck again. There is much to tell you. But still more that I do not know. Your old friend, Raffin Lorespeaker in Ravenscar, wishes to speak with you. He knows more about this grim threat. Would that I had better news for you, wizard. The Coven has returned after the same goal, the Everwinter. You have heard of the Titans of Storm, Fire and Ice, yes? The Ice Titan sleeps deep beneath Grizzleheim, sent into a centuries-long slumber by Bartleby himself. The Coven would rouse the Ice Titan from that eternal rest. When he rises, his fury will be cold and fierce. The runes tell me that the Coven is at work in Hrundlefjord, a port in the part of Grizzleheim called Winter Tusk. You must use your wits, your spells, and your courage to defeat the Coven once more. Only you can do this deed. Go and speak to Valgard Goldenblade once more, and tell him that Hrundle Fjord is where you must go. I can see from your grim demeanor that Raffin has told you much. So Raffin Lorespeaker tells you that the Coven is up to their evil in Rundlefjord. I have not heard from my subjects in Rundlefjord in some time, and I worry that they have met with trouble. Balder Goldpaws is at the Dock of Northgard, 
he can take you to the part of Wintertusk called Rundlefjord. Go now and speak to Balder, and go to Rundlefjord, with the king's favor at your side like a trusted sword. Hello there, young wizard. How can I help you? You wish to journey to Rundlefjord? It is a simple task. Step over to my ship and we will set sail. Here it is! Rundlefjord, part of Wintertusk. If you wish to return to Northgard, or return here from Northgard, my ship is at your service. Long has it been since I visited Rundlefjord. It is clear that something is terribly wrong. There is an unseasonable chill in the air, and I have never seen a ship with such ice upon it. Stride over to that nearby ship, if you will, and see what ails it and the crew who stand beside it. We examine the long ship. This ice is not natural. It was frozen in place here at the dock. These warriors were frozen in their tracks. Powerful ice magic is at work here. There are others who could have done this, but I'll wager that the coven is behind this dread chill. Ill doing at the docks can only be a sign that further mischief is afoot. You should go and examine the gates to Arundel Fjord and see if they were able to withstand this wretched cold. Go and scout only. Do not open the gates or enter the village just yet. There may be trouble within. As a captain, I cannot abandon my longship, so I will wait here for your return. The gates are closed and appear to be locked. Like the cold, silence radiates from within the village. Well, this is a new area for me. I've never been in this area before. It's definitely a new add-on. I was dreading going for Grisheim. Like, it used to be the hardest thing. And the that's why people locked, would just. Eh? That is a sure sign of trouble. That's why people would just skip to Dragonspire. In kinder times, the village guards would have seen the sails of my ship and opened the gate to greet us. I suspect that the village of Rundlefjord is in the icy clutches of evildoers. There must be a way through the gates. Perhaps a secret signal to alert those inside. Those frostbones outside the gate may know more about getting inside. You should defeat a few frostbones and see how they signal to one another. Sure, yeah. That should be relatively easy. Mer. Using that, oh cool. I want his minion. I'm jealous he was able to pull out a spell already.
forever to power up. Next wizard has to be either storm, death, life, like something that tips fast. Okay, that works. <laughs> As you defeat this frost bones, more of them bang their shields in reply. It is a code of some sort. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh god. They bang their swords upon their shields instead of speaking? This is an ancient means of signaling. Warriors of old, it is clear that the town has fallen to evil. Go and use Norse code to signal your way past. The Thane of Harundel Fjord is named Vanir Stormroar. Seek him out and return to me once you know his fate. As we know, as we pass here, this little shit's got quests for us. Wonder what's going to be. Oh, if you are indeed going to Rundle Fjord, there's something you can do. It's a quiet little place. I hear tell of a pack of troll. Could you check up on them? No need to rile them up. Just see how they're doing. Yuck. You tap on the gate a few times, then something that sounds like Norse code. A moment later, it opens. Vanir is frozen solid. You should tell Balder the bad news. He's sitting there, get me out of here. <laughs> get moved. Vanir alone, we must devise a way to thaw Vanir's storm roar without harming him. This is raven magic. We need a raven. If I remember rightly, an old crone named Morn Shadowbrew dwells within Herundel Fjord. Though she was wicked and unkind, she may be able to help us if she has not been turned to ice. Go and seek her out and see if she can be convinced to help us in this cold hour. Probably best that we walk. Frozen. No matter. You'll join the others in their wintry doom. Cool. A bunch of stuff that I can't really use. doesn't have a shield because that's like a thousand hit.
But the one I'm planning to this one here is a little, a little overkill. I killed that one, now I gotta kill this one. nothing but if you must speak to him here is how to thaw him go to the geysers at the edge of the village and collect some scalding water here's an urn you can use just pour it over vanir he should thaw in a matter of moments it is magic ice only geyser water will serve i could use your help if those frost goblins outside stole my rune carp, if you go and get those things back to me, I'll carve you a nice runic charm wow, to bring you good no fortune. No one on. Fair enough. Okay, I guess I'm lone wolfing it. Geyser and trolls, huh? Let's just do these. Get it out of the way. Do all the quests from one area. I was originally just going to do the main quest and then I come back later, but I don't want to go through all this, these hoops again. No, thank you. And of course there are eyes. Alright. Come here. A thousand health each. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's not use this. Let's use this. Quite a bit of scrap metal there. Which is good, because I need it for making stuff in Mollyborn and other places, but still, very surprised.
Well, this is gonna be painful. And he's got a shield. Owies! So to make sure I get maximum damage, let's go ahead and get rid of that shield. And of course he makes another one faster. That's fine, I'll just do this. And then we'll start hitting them with other stuff. Oh my goodness, he's going crazy with shields right now. That might happen. That's what happens when you don't got converters on. And she's still my scrap metal. I'll do the hand thing next, so that I can get healed. Oh, hi there, sir. How you doing? That's me. Holy shit. Please be dead. Pretty damn close today. <laughs> what do you mean it fizzled?
I'm dead. Thanks, dude. That was so helpful. I really dislike it when people join your battle and you know unless you have a heal card and you know that person's in trouble about to die like why are you getting involved in that battle like seriously it's just kind of rude thankfully I wasn't that far away Must be his friend. Nah, I'm my friendless. Let's 
name tag would be like a uh, gray if it was on my list. Figures, he had trying to join right when we're trying to kill one off. I can read. One, two, three, four. Where are my cards? Tempest. I need to use my elephant, man. Oh, he missed him. Uh huh. So I'll just go over here and smack it. Okay, can you load it? Uh, I went into the wrong JoJo. I don't know how to fight her again. You did your part, so I'll honor- Morn uses her tools to carve an inscription on a runic charm. Here you go. May it shelter you from harm. Looks like it sucks. <laughs> Reading wasn't really worth it. You collect the steaming geyser water in the urn Morn gave you. You're careful not to burn yourself. Pour the steaming geyser water upon the frozen Thane. In a moment or so, he is free from the ice. What has happened? I was in my hall, ready to fight the coven, when I became quite cold. I remember no more. Now I am soaked and steaming. My state lacks dignity, but I am grateful to you for my freedom. I don't recognize you, but you're clearly a wizard of some sort. You freed me, so I will trust you. The one you must speak to is Grandmother Raven. She is an old one, older than even the Spiral. 
It is said she gave the eyes of time to the great tree at the heart of the spiral. But that was long, long ago. She is a loyal ally of my people. I bid you, check on her. See how she fares. I fear that the coven has done her ill. Grandmother Raven is often near the giant tree behind this hall. Go and seek her out. Rundlefjord's strength is in its people, and we cannot survive if our best are but frozen statues. Can you make your way to the geyser and gather more water to thaw three of my villagers? Their names are Holga Ironweaver, Newt Brightwood, and Waith Cloudhawk. Here is a bucket to use. When you have thawed my allies, return here and let me know the deed is done. You fill your bucket with boiling hot geyser water. Give me. It's shiny, I have to get it. You pour the hot water over. Brr, that's a welcome splash of hot water on a cold day. Thank you. Waif looks like he could use a hot bath. Oh, that's hot! Oh, I took a bath last month. Is it that time again? Time to break the... How long was I... Those three can help thaw the rest of the village. Our gratitude to you for your aid. Greetings, young wizard. At long last, we meet. I have long watched you as you made your way through the spiral. Perhaps you have felt my presence before. I celebrated your victories, and I hope that my counsel reached you in your journeys. You find me at a disadvantage. Though the ravens are all my children of a sort, some of them are quite wicked. The ravens of the coven are especially untrustworthy. They caught me unawares and trapped me in this cage. If you would help an old grandmother, talk to the three wise sisters called the Norns at the nearby well. They can see into the past, across the world as it is, and they know what is to come. They can help you set me free. I am Erd, the one who knows all that has happened to you before this day. I am Verdandi. And there is nothing in the spiral that is hidden from my sight. I am Skald, and I knew you were coming. We Norns tend the loom of fate. Each living being is but a thread for us to weave into the tapestry of life. As an outlander, you are free from fate. You are not of Grizzleheim, so your destiny is not part of this tapestry. You alone can change the course of events and thwart the frightful fate that is to come. To free Grandmother Raven, you must do the impossible. First, fetch for us the feather of a white raven. Skogel the Pale is such a raven, with feathers the color of the moon, rather than the night dark sky. Go to Skogel's hut in Rundlefjord and beg from her a single white feather. 
onwards. Who's that outside? If you're from the coven, leave me alone. If you've come to free me, then welcome. The door is frozen shut. If you want to be of help, fetch a kettle from the market and fill it with snow. Melt the snow in the fire pit in the market, and then bring the hot water back to pour over the ice on my door. Relatively simple. You get a cooking pot and quickly fill it with snow. The snow melts and boils quickly. I wonder who the Before voice actor the is. the boiling water over the ice, it melts away. You're not from around here, are you? You have my gratitude for getting rid of the ice, but I'm still plenty mad at what's been done. If you'll go and teach a handful of those ravens a lesson, any of them will do. I'll be willing. So, what are you waiting for? Get out there and thrash some of the ravens that ruined this nice village. Damn. Okay. My shields up. Da da my da 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 my da. Oh, look at that. It's not gonna be as effective as it usually is, but it's all right. Go sixty minutes. Hey, turn that off. I don't like that. Hey, get your finger out of this. Turn it. Ouch. 
decisions, decisions. people that are doing this questing. I'm basically two quests behind, I think.
help you now that the Ravens have paid for the trouble they brought to Hrundlefjord. What can I do for you? A feather? An odd request, but if it's for a good cause... Wincing, Skogel pulls out a stray feather and hands it to you. Use that in a spell against me and you'll wish you hadn't. This feather will serve its purpose, but it's only a start. We do not send you on idle errands. The things we need are for a mighty spell to change the fate of a world. The next impossible thing we need is a claw from a bear with no name. In this world, that is no small thing. The near storm roarer keeps a census of all who dwell here. He knows everyone and may know if there is one with no name. Vanir is in his hall, and he will help you find this nameless bear. When you have that bear's claw, you can return. seek a bear without a name. How odd. I keep a census of all those who live in this village. Read it and see if it helps. A minstrel once told me of an outlander who rid Grizzleheim of many Grendels. I don't suppose that was you, was you have some skill in monster fighting, and I am in need of such talents. These pesky frost goblins have a leader in the cave outside of town, a monster we've been unable to deal with. He calls himself Thulkir Battlegloom. Can you go and defeat him, driving him from Grundlefjord? You examine the census. The list of names doesn't include Leith who is standing outside of town. Greetings. Is it safe to go back into town? What? No name? How could they take Leaf off their senses? I'll have to speak to Vanir about that. What's that? You'd like a claw? How odd. I was just sharpening my claws and the tip of one of them broke off. It must be fate at work. In that case, you should have it. I am a traitor. I returned home to find the gates closed and guarded by cold warriors. I chose to remain safe outside. My f Though I am still groggy from the cold, I am always ready to offer a good deal. Leaf sent you? Oh, that's welcome news. Tell him I've weathered the ice storm and am ready to do business. The claw 
of a bear with no name. You are clever to win such a prize. Clever indeed. A feather from a white raven and a claw from a bear with no name. Two of the three items we need are in hand. The third item is perhaps the most difficult to obtain. A tooth from a wolf who has never known battle. Fate smiles upon you. At the edge of this village is an herbalist called Regan Wildleaf. He may be of help. How good a leaf to show concern for my well-being. I would rather he offer fair prices when we trade. You aren't from here. Did you come with the coven, or are you here as a friend to the folk of Harundelfjord? We can use allies in this grave time. I am an herbalist, and I do what I can to heal the sick. A tooth? What a strange request. And an odd coincidence, one I cannot ignore. When the ice first came, I bit a piece of it and broke a tooth. I'll readily give it to you, but can you help me? I have an ache from the missing tooth, and the herbs I need for the remedy are outside of town. I'll need a sprig each of valerian and of amaranth. I'll also need a branch of moonwort, which the coven night wings may have taken. Gather those three herbs, bring them to me, and I'll look around and see if I can find that broken tooth. My trade partners and friends are well? How wonderful! You've done me a great favor.
You're quite the gatherer. Those herbs will help ease the pain of this broken tooth. And here, this is for you. Regan hands you a jagged piece of broken tooth. That must have hurt coming out. is the time to weave our greatest magic. Tooth, claw, and feather. These are symbols of our people, yet each comes from a source that cannot be. You must bind them with the thread of your life and weave them into the tapestry that is Grizzleheim's fate. Take feather, claw, and tooth to the loom of fate. Tie them to your thread, you will know it, and return to us. One of the threads looks a little different from the others. You get a sense that it represents you. You tie the feather, claw, and tooth to the thread. Strangely, Grizzleheim feels a little more like home to you. You can now dispel the magic that binds Grandmother Raven within her cage. It should open to your touch. from that cage. Now I can take on my true form. Do not be afraid. Walk up the ramp so that I can see you eye to eye. It has been centuries since I wore this shape. Oh, to stretch these wings once more. There is still much to do, else the Everwinter takes us all in its cold, clawed grasp. When the Ice Titan fought with his brothers, the Titans of Fire and Storm, the world was threatened with ruin. Bartleby sung the song that put them to sleep and bound together the shattered world and spun it into the spiral. Four sons there are of the Ice Titan, four giants of frost, Austri, Vestri, Sudri and Nordri are their names. Each frost giant rules a land near Rundlefjord, and they have never been friendly to bear, wolf, or raven. But the one they liked least 
was their father, the Ice Titan himself. While the father slumbers, the sons run wild. The four ice giants each have a means to bind their father to sleep. Four golden seals, one to each. I lay this task upon you, to fetch back the golden seals. The gate go through the gate and speak to Austri. Bargain for the seal, then return with it. There is no other way. Yeah, this is a completely new area for me. I have n never been in this portion of the map at all. Like, I'm just looking around like, the f where the hell did I end up? Alrighty. Uh, I should probably stop the video here soon. It's like an hour already. I'm gonna talk to this guy and then I'll end it. on something. Damn, I should just took the portal. Guessing I need to get up here. Pulled bigger things than you out of my nose. <laughs> Who are you? And why should I bother listening? It's clear to me why you've come. You want the golden seal that will keep my father in his great sleep. The coven gave one seal to each of the Ice Titan's sons for safekeeping. But they do not know us very well. It pleases my brothers and me to let Amir sleep on while we rule over Bear, Raven, and Wolf. You're clearly a wizard of some renown, but I will not grant the seal to just any who ask. You must earn it. Four tests I place before you. You must demonstrate your superiority in strategy, wits, charm, and strength. If you would have my golden seal, you must defeat the most cunning of my allies, Skagis Forkbeak. He dwells in a small shack next to my hall. You may have passed it on your way here. Defeat him and return here. Alright, I'm gonna let this load. Alright, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.